What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel After Sound here and we bring you Splinterlands content daily. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound. So come come uh, so come by, say hello. We do giveaways every stream and we do giveaways every week here on the channel. All you got to do is leave your in-game username in the comments and I will send you some DEC in the game for my favorite comments on the weekly Q&A videos. See, we just we just roll right through it. That's how we do. Okay, let's jump right in because we had some awesome, awesome reveals in the Mav chat early this morning or overnight, I should really say. And uh, we found or we got to see some summoners for Chaos Legion. We got to see two specifically. You're looking at one right. You're looking at the fire one right now. And we also have the earth one. Now, there's a couple things that I want to go through with this. And uh, I know some other folks have already done a little analysis. So I'll try to make mine a little bit different rather than just a hype video, because obviously I'm super, super excited for Chaos Legion. And this is already getting me to start thinking about what my overall strategy will be as I will be heavily focused not only on Chaos Legion, I'm sorry, not only on the modern format, but specifically Chaos Legion and beyond. I really have no interest in buying other cards from previous expansions just because the, I feel like those cards are overpriced already. And uh, I feel like as long as I focus and stay within my lane in terms of modern format, I will be just fine playing with Chaos Legion and can pick and choose cards from, you know, older older releases uh, as needed. Now, there's there's something that I want to call it here. And before we before we even jump deeper into Tarsa, let's take a look. So we have Tarsa here with a plus one melee and a plus one speed. And then we have Obsidian, awesome name, by the way, which is the Earth uh, Summoner who has a plus one magic. Now, the first thing that popped out to me was the fact that why is fire getting more summoner buffs than earth because everything we've seen previously right there's always been some kind of balance between all of the uh summoners before and if you look at previous releases if they were rare summoners they usually got one buff if they were uh well actually maybe i shouldn't say that without actually looking into it but for the most part i believe uh oh See, Peak Rider was the only one, right? Poor guy. Peak Rider is the only legendary summoner from... An, is it Beta? Yeah, Beta. This dude only got two buffs. Everybody else got one... Uh, everybody else got three buffs. Uh, aside from Dragon. And Dragon's different. You can even see the mana cost was different here. So, we're starting to see that it's... Uh, there's going to be some differences. There's going to be some rebalancing. Maybe Fire really needs it. And I would say so because... I, I will be the first to admit that I was wrong. I thought that Fire would be getting some kind of magic-related summoner buff, either offense or defense, right? They would get uh, either a plus one magic attack or they would get void, but we didn't get either of those. In fact, what did we get? We got, <laughs> we got a mix of the two summoners that are in the spellbook right now, the two rare summoners that are in the spellbook right now, Malric and Pyre. You get the plus one melee, the plus one speed, and you are paying one more mana for this. But the one thing that I am kind of happy about, right? Because keep in mind, Tarsa is going to be in the uh, the new spell book. Sorry, the new uh, starter cards. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that they said the rare summoners for Chaos Legion will be in the spell book. Uh, so everybody will have access to them. Malric who, if you are not familiar with the names, but Malric is this dude right here, will no longer be in the uh, the starter deck, right? So you will need to have actually own this card or rent this card in order to play with it. So what are the two that we'll be comparing? It's going to be Pyre with Tarsa. Now, for one more mana, I think it's a no-brainer that I would always go with Tarsa. And keep in mind, for the... Um, What's that called? For the, uh, oh gosh. Oh yeah, the Little little League, I think is, what, is the name of the rule set where you can only play with summoners and monsters at four or less. Both Tarsa and Pyre will be available. So for one more mana, I will always choose Tarsa. Now, the thing is, the only time Tarsa would not make sense to me is if it was a non 
melee game, right? Like melee monsters are not allowed. And you are really only limited and fire is like one of the splinters that you have to play or that, you know, would still be best for you. Then I would go with Pyre and save that one mana and use it on a monster somewhere. But, you know, for me, I had been thinking about getting into some of these summoners and thankfully I did not buy into them. Pyre was Pyre wasn't one that was necessarily high on the list, but I was definitely looking at Pyre and I was interested right at, at a certain time and now i'm grateful for the fact that i just decided to hold off until chaos legion because at least for the fire splinter i don't know why i, I mean i wouldn't go for pyre over um over tarsa now i don't know some people might look at the the one mana difference three mana for pyre versus four mana for tarsa and think that that is huge at least for me i'm not seeing that as a huge huge deal right now but um yeah, I, I mean, I think Tarsa is great. I think she's going to be awesome, actually, and will be a big help for for the Fire Splinter at all levels, right? Because especially at the starter level, when you're getting rid of Malric, but you are adding in something else that is Malric plus Pyre, uh, to me, that's, that's going to be a no-brainer. So I'm excited about Tarsa, and I'm really excited to see how she synergizes with the rest of the new... Uh, starter cards and just cards in general overall for um, for Chaos Legion, Fire Splinter specifically. Um, that so again, this is more speculation, but I do wonder if Pyre's price will go down now. I actually don't know what Pyre's price had been previously to this, but um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's funny. I was on stream earlier. I had some folks telling me that they were planning to sell their pyres now, and we're just going to focus on grabbing Tarso when she was available. So it'll be interesting to see how they are priced accordingly, because there will be way, way more Tarsas in circulation than there are pyres. And right now there's only 11k, and I, I forgot what the total amount per card is. But you know, with with us getting a ton of cards what is it 50 like 75 million cards i believe 75 million cards plus overall with the airdrops and promos and all that for chaos agent it's gonna be nuts okay um now let's look at the other one here this is the magic so obsidian pretty straightforward again it looks like all of the summoners are going to be four mana summoners or at least all the rare summoners will be four mana or at least that's what we're seeing from these first two. And I would I would bet my bottom DEC that uh, they all end up being four mana. So let's compare this with where things are currently at for the Earth Splinter. So with Earth, as of right now, we have Liana and Wizard of Eastwood as the starter deck cards. Myler is dice, so Myler will never be part of the starter deck. You will have to either buy Myler or buy a dice pack, unopened dice pack, and hope that you open one in there or rent him. So we will be losing Liana, the plus one heart, which I mean is okay for me. I, to me, the utility of the plus one heart was never awesome. Uh, Wizards of Eastwood made a ton more sense, especially, especially once the Venari Wavesmith plague came upon us and uh, magic spamming became everything in bronze, right? So Wizard of Eastwood was really the 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 pre-counter to that. And people, at least myself, started using Wizard of Eastwood a lot more uh, than Liana and or even Milo, right? In certain cases, if you knew you were going to get magic spammed or there was going to be a Venari Wavesmith, you would go with Wizard of Eastwood. So Wizard of Eastwood is still going to be in there. This is the Untamed Rare Summoner. So the two that we'll be working with are Wizard of Eastwood and now Obsidian. And what was really cool was they were talking in the Mav chat and they pointed out all of these cards. Uh, and so these are the magic-based Earth cards. Someone put together a photo of them somewhere here. Let me just keep strolling. And said, who's going to get a bump, right? So all of a sudden, we saw the price of Jin Bilgeka spike up a little bit, or at least not dip in the same way other cards do, other rewards cards do at the beginning of the season. And it makes sense now. There's going to be a renewed focus, it seems, on Magic. So all of a sudden, I mean, Kron is just... Uh, <sighs> Kron is just going to be a beast and, and <laughs> it, it, he's just going to be an absolute monster in these lower levels. And it makes me want to grab a Kron now, but uh, whatever. 
that time has passed, I think. Um, failed summoner is not, this is more magic defense. Oaken Behemoth. Oaken Behemoth is great. It's just too much mana, I think, is, is the issue for me here. Uh, but I love the... I love the um, the reach aspect for him. Now, Centauri Mage is another one that I like. I ha I don't have this card myself. Uh, and Sporcerer is another card that I don't have either. But I wonder if these guys are going to get a boost. And again, we don't know what else is coming out with Chaos Legion. But I would... Um, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if these cards will become that much more valuable, especially in the modern format. I'm not really focused on Wood Nymph, Mushroom Seer, and Spirit Shaman, just because these guys are all, they're fantastic cards, but I will not be using them, or at least the, the modern format will not be using them, so therefore I will not be focusing on them. But uh, I am very much interested now in leveling up my Jin Bilchka. I don't have enough, but right now with him at about, you know, between 20 to $25, you will need 11 of them to max out. So that's not a small amount of money by any means, but if you're interested, this would be the time to do it um, before, who knows, uh, you know, magic, magic spamming within earth might be the new thing <laughs> because you're going to get, you're going to get Chimer Princess and oh, I guess that's it. You're going to get Chimer Princess and we'll see whatever other magic cards uh, or magic based attack cards come out from uh, Chaos Legion. But I would assume that there there might there will be at least one is my assumption. Right. Uh, one outside of Jin Bilka, Bij, uh, Jin Bilchka and one more specifically that will be a common or rare sitting in the starter deck. So the, those are the two. I think that there is a lot of really exciting things coming. I love the reveals and I'm hoping that we get more over time. I don't know if they're going to do like a full reveal where they just show every single card because that is a video that I want. I mean, that's just something that I want to do and I would love to like make a video for it in while kind of analyzing each of them. But we have Obsidian and we have Tarsa. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are. If you're excited for this, if you are selling your pyres, if you're buying pyres, maybe, I don't know. Let me know what your strategy is. Uh, I gave you mine. I, I, I'm super pumped for this. And I think that there are, is a lot, I'm sorry, there are a lot of really cool things coming into the ecosystem with Chaos Legion. And one last thing that I do want to check for the Fire Splinter is what are we looking at in terms of the rewards cards? So... Oh my gosh. Like just thinking about using Tarsa with exploding rats and all of a sudden now you get three blast damage and four uh, or five speed at level one. That's going to be pretty cool. That's actually going to be really, really cool. Uh, so I'm excited to be able to use that. And obviously you can level this guy up and I I'm excited for the summoners because these are the summoners that I plan on leveling up uh, as quickly as possible and moving into the higher leagues with. Um, and as we see here, some of the other potential, oh, well, I guess these are the only rewards cards because Lava Launcher is not, is not a melee based option. And what were the earth rewards cards again? So, okay. Yeah. So Jin Bilchka is the only one uh, with a magic attack and that he's the legendary one, but there's, there's the meta is going to change and I am so here for it. I'm so excited for it. I hope you guys are hyped too. Uh, that's all I have in this video. Check it out whenever you guys get a chance. Let me know your thoughts and we will continue the conversation in the comments. I will catch you guys in the next video and I will see you around the game.